Okay, look. Don't hate me, but I actually didn't like the original Hyrule Warriors all that much. Yeah, yeah, I know Hyrule Warriors is a good game. It's, you know, you could stone me for not liking it, but I just could not get into it. Age of Calamity, on the other hand, is another story. I freaking loved this game. Like, this is some seriously good stuff. I don't know what it is exactly, but this game hooked me right off the bat. Age of Calamity is a prequel, and it tells the story of what happened 100 years before Breath of the Wild. Now, due to the nature of the game being story-focused and how it just recently came out, I'll do my best to avoid spoiling what happens outside of when you recruit the four champions in Chapter 2. There's some really good surprises in this game that I don't want to spoil for you all. So, uh, what does the roster look like? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's 18 characters once you unlock everything. However, I'm not going to tell you who they are. Now for the main crew, you have a solid 7 characters that unlock one after another. Link, Impa, Zelda, and the four champions. Mifa, Urbosa, Rivali, and Daruk. Okay, there must be some dark magic going on at Koei Tecmo. Let me tell you, it's a Warriors game and all the characters follow the same basic formula. Light, heavy, and special attacks. Dodge, magic, and Sheikah Slate and gliding. However, everybody manages to have their own identity. Link is the standard brawling soldier, but he's the only character that's able to select between different weapon types, two-handed, short swords, and lances, each with their own twists to Link's playstyle. Zelda's a freaking wizard, dude. Just look at this. Impa is one of my favorites, and just, just look at these freaking cool ninja abilities! She clones herself! It's so cool! Urbosa is a beast. She just thrashes people with lightning. Mifa is the token freaky fish lady who can heal. Rivali can literally fly. Oh, and Daruk? He can't die. He just can't. One of my favorite touches is that each character has their own use for the Sheikah Slate. Link uses Cryonis to propel himself up into the air. Impa takes after the pioneers and rides it. Zelda just stabs people. Ooh, and this is my favorite. Urbosa, being the beast of a unit she is, takes a bomb and blows it up to propel herself upwards and fly. It's freaking sick. The gameplay is sharp and feels fantastic. The controls are incredibly responsive. There's no rush like mowing down waves and waves of enemies. It is pure catharsis. And this game strikes a good balance of tearing through hundreds of worthless minions and having a duel with a competent enemy. I'll get to those in a minute though. The last thing to mention is that the maps are nearly the same as they are from Breath of the Wild. It's nice to be able to revisit these locations as a place to battle rather than a place to explore. Difficulty wise, I played on very hard. I just know that spoon would have helped. I didn't digitally pre-order Age of Calamity, so I couldn't get the spoon! Very hard is very hard. I only recommend it if you hate yourself and get way too much gratification from playing children's video games. But also, normals for stinking Octoroks! So I put on my big boy pants and cranked it to very hard. Dude, the sense of accomplishment from beating bosses on very hard is like no other. It always goes like this. I go through, kill some baddies, and then boom, roadblock. I die, reset, die again, reset, rinse and repeat for 30 minutes, and then boom, dead boss. And then another boss appears. Shit. On very hard, the game makes sure that you know its mechanics, memorize the boss's patterns, and test your ability to adapt on the fly. I may be a little stupid and patient, but I learned not to be, and once I adapted, the fights felt more like an endurance test of my skill. As an inverse of this, normal is just too easy. You end up just turning your brain off as you just mash the kill button. It doesn't destroy the game, but I feel like it really does detract from what makes it fun for me. And what makes it fun for me is improving over time, nailing those flurry rushes, punishes, and just becoming unkillable through your own skill. I love it. Now, the other thing the game nails is content. From top to bottom, this game is absolutely stacked with things to do. The main story is 7 chapters with 20 missions in total. Oh, but you would be so, so wrong if you thought that was all. Koei Tecmo demands your precious time on this earth. We got hundreds of quests, tons of Koroks to collect, accessories for Link, and 11 more characters to unlock past the main 7. Another thing I love is the use of the world map from Breath of the Wild as a character progression screen. You can unlock more attacks and hearts for your characters, and there are individual training missions for them as well. Speaking of extra content, multiplayer! So, this mode is kinda jank, but I love it. The frame rate 
is totally locked at 30 FPS, and when an enemy comes on screen, whoo boy, it gets laggy. It just takes a nosedive. It's definitely playable, but it's also very, very noticeable. The worst offender was in Zora's Domain. Rain, Lightning, and Minions do not mix together well. But the multiplayer is just some of the most fun you can have. Teaming up absolutely destroys the challenge, but who cares? It's just fun. Okay, gripes. No game is perfect, and this game is certainly not perfect as well. This game is a fantastic package of fan service and hype, but that comes at a cost. The general graphics leave a bit to be desired. Now that's not meaning the art style, it's gorgeous, and the models really do look fantastic at times. But I've also noticed a lot of pixelated textures that just muddy up these models. The same goes for the terrain. With a Warriors game on the Switch, performance issues are to be expected, but Age of Calamity tends to especially struggle, in particular, loading in too many things on screen at once. I've noticed that lightning is the real killer here. Frame rate and quality tends to dip as well. Honestly though, these don't detract from the game enough for me to dislike it. There's just so much to like that the negatives don't really detract much. And that's it folks, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It is a lovingly crafted, fantastic, fun game. If you got some hours to kill, this game is perfect for that as well. If you're a fan of Zelda, give it a try. And if you've never played a Warriors game, this is the perfect introduction. Man, what a great game. But I can't help but think it's, uh, it's uh, missing something.